Hey guys, the cube did here. Today we're going to be messing around with this Gaker Smart Cube, which was sent to me by Banggood.com. So if you want to get this for 30% off at Banggood.com, making it just $28, there's a coupon code down below. That is the cheapest Gaker Smart Cube that I have seen on the market. So I'll have a link to their website, the item, their app, as well as the discount code down below. So as many of you guys know, this is a Smart Cube, and there are sensors in every single piece. Now attempting to take off the center cap is kind of tough as these things are pretty deep in there so you really got to pull it off and so there are only sensors in these center pieces and that is how it knows where all the pieces are so you turn basically the center piece and then the app just sort of tracks okay if you do this clockwise this piece is going to move with it and it'll be there so one thing I'd like to try is to strip this cube down make it just the core scramble it and then solve it using just the core so turning just the center pieces I want to see what it's like to solve this thing so without further ado all right, here we have just the core of the Gicker Cube and under all of these center pieces are sensors. These pieces, as we'll see in a second because of the second thing I want to do today, uh, they don't have any sensors in them, so this should work. Uh, and so just by turning this, it should turn on the actual uh, computer. So I'm going to pull up the website right now, link this to it, and then we're going to go ahead and get started with a scramble. All right, so here with me I have the core, and as you can see I have the website pulled up, bluetooth.cubing.net. I'm using that instead of the website just because on the app it kind of has these weird colors whereas on the website it has the standard color scheme. So I'm going to go ahead and start scrambling this just by turning the center pieces. So that's pretty cool. I guess I should actually line it up so that this is right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get scrambling just by turning these center pieces. That looks pretty cool. Never thought I'd be able to actually scramble a cube just by turning the core before. Let's see if this is doing anything. Just kind of fiddling around with it. Oh, it's doing a lot. Okay. That's really cool. Okay. All right. And I guess it doesn't really matter if uh, the piece, if it actually tracked everything correctly, because I don't see, like, I just see one scramble. The scramble is on the website. So by all means, I could have just missed the move, but I'm only looking at the website. So I'm gonna go ahead and inspect. And, okay. I'm gonna put this down while I inspect real quick on the website. Just start it like that. Okay, all right. Ooh, no, that's, I forgot that's orange. Okay, that's what I want. All right, so here we have that. And then what OLL do we have? Okay, here we have an A perm. We have the red blue pair lined up with the red blue, which is right here. And then we have headlights on the left, so it's gonna be a, uh, this U perm, or A perm. All right, I guess it stopped that. All right, so that was definitely a fun little challenge. I'd recommend doing that if you have it. It's a lot harder than I thought uh, because I'm not able to actually like, rotate the cube on the website, but I'll have a link to bluetooth.cubing.net down below. However, the next thing we're gonna do is, uh, it doesn't actually involve the core. What it does involve is all these pieces. So uh, we're gonna be attempting this for the first time. I've never demagnetized a cube before because I've never really felt the need to, however, as you guys can hear, this is my other kicker cube. This cube is very, very loud. Very loud and very clicky, and we're gonna hopefully fix that by taking all the magnets out of these pieces. So we're gonna show how to do it with an edge piece, how to take them out of a corner, and then we are going to uh, do a little time lapse and then put it back together and see how much of a difference it actually makes. So all you're gonna need is the pieces for the Gicker cube and a small screwdriver that can fit this screw right here. And as you guys can hear, the magnets are loose in there, so we're gonna get them out and all you have to do is first take the screw out and then we're going to take this thing off and then inside we have the two magnets that actually fit into these little slots right here but as you guys can tell they're all pretty loose so we're going to go ahead and take that out 
and then we're going to put it back together. And then that's all we have to do for one of the edge pieces. All right, so a corner is pretty much the same thing. You're just going to take your screwdriver. And then here you can see the three magnets in their slots. I guess they aren't loose in the corners. It seems like they fit a lot better. So we're going to go ahead and get those out. All right, so just by slamming it down on my hand, I was able to get them out. And then you can put them next to the edge ones. Then all you have to do to put it back together is pop the cap on and then put the screwdriver back in. All right, so here we have all the edges, we have all the corners, we have the corn, we have all the magnets that came from here. And so uh, now, as you guys can see, these are not attracting to each other. Normally these would stick, whereas now they fall. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together, and then we're gonna do a quick comparison uh, sound-wise uh, with this compared to the actual uh, Gikker cube that you would get out of the box with magnets in it. So here we have two Gikker cubes. We have one with magnets, and we have one without magnets. So let's go ahead and listen to the one with magnets once again. Very loud and very clicky. Now, let's do first turns on this cube without magnets. All right, so it's definitely still a very loud, very crunchy sounding puzzle. However, it doesn't really feel as clicky. This sounds very clicky, whereas this does not. It definitely is a little bit less controllable on this without the magnets, whereas on here, you have magnets keeping everything in alignment. Whereas on here, it seems uh, like it's about to fall apart, I guess. But some people like that. I know a lot of blind solvers for some reason. I don't really know why. Their cubes feel like they're about to fall apart. If nobody here has ever felt Max Hilliard's 3x3, his 3x3, I'm terrified to actually scramble it in any competition. I have to turn it very slowly because I'm scared it's just going to pop on me. So today we messed around with this Gikri Cube. We demagnetized it as well as taking it apart and solving just the core using bluetooth.cubing.net. I have a link to that down below if you want to mess around with that instead of the app. So I'd like to thank Banggood for sending this out to me. I'll have a link to their store down below as well as a discount code that'll get you 30% off, which is $12 off making this just $28, which is one of the cheapest Gikker Cubes on the market. I believe it's cheaper than the Cubicle and Speed Cube Shop. So go ahead and check out their website, uh, this item, use that discount code, as well as their app. I'll have all those links down in the description. Anyways, those are some cool things we did. If you guys have any other cool ideas you'd like me to try on this cube, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll hopefully I'll be able to make another video of this. So if you guys enjoyed that content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of all my future videos. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.